Are you tired of spending all your hard-earned money on gacha games? Reaching for your wallet every time you lose only to summon the same units you already have? Then stop and download Grand Chase today for free. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Claytano. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. And we are back with some more Grand Chase. I made one video for it in the past and you guys have constantly been asking me in YouTube comments and Twitch messages and everything asking me to play more Grand Chase. So that's what we're going to do today. I actually got a sponsor from Bluestacks in order to sponsor a couple more videos for Grand Chase. So if you guys do want to play along and join in on the journey, go ahead and download it using the link in the description. It'll be Bluestacks and it'll come with Grand Chase pre-installed on it for you guys so you can play along with me. Now, one thing I do want to mention, if you guys think that the title of this video is clickbait, I 100% guarantee you this is the most free to play hero collector gacha game you will ever play. And if you think I'm wrong, I dare you to download the game right now and prove me wrong. I'm super excited to get into today's video. I hope you guys are as well, but I basically just want to go over the beginning stages of the game so that way I can help you and we can progress together throughout these next few weeks, okay? So what I did when I first downloaded the game and I was playing it on Twitch, I actually continuously reset my account until I was able to obtain one of the most rare units in the game. Now, there are a bunch of different rarities, but SR is going to be your best units in the game more often than not. So the SR unit that I got from my resets was Sigheart. Now, although SR units are the most rare unit in the game, they're actually extremely easy to obtain in Grand Chase. It's really more of how you use them than actually getting and obtaining the actual unit itself. So, a couple of the units that I recommend to start off with would be Last. He is great in all different types of content throughout the game and he'll help you progress super, super quickly early on. Now, I stopped with Sigheart because I was on stream. Otherwise, I would have continuously reset my account until I got Last. Another great unit would be Lei as well. She's also great in all different types of content throughout the entire game as well. But really guys, the SR units are all going to be helpful in one type of way or another. So if you happen to pull one and you think it looks cool, don't think that you have to continuously reset until you get Last or Lay or one of the other premier units that are SRs. If you find one that you think is cool and that you connect with, just keep it because you're gonna be able to summon these other units later on throughout the game, okay? So don't worry about it too much. Just jump in and play and enjoy it and uh, just know that you'll get those, you'll, you'll get them later. So just chill, it's fine, relax. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is why this game is so extremely free to play friendly. I'm gonna click on the shop here and we're gonna go to summon. And of course, it's the most exciting thing to watch. It's the most exciting thing to do in almost any gacha game. That's why they're called gacha games is because you wanna be summoning and being surprised with what you actually get. So. After you summon 200 times, which isn't actually a lot because you get a lot of summons as you play throughout the gameplay, through the adventure mode and everything else, you'll get a lot of these. Now, once you get to 200 summons, you get a SR ticket. And with this SR ticket, you're actually able to select an SR five-star hero of your choice. So if there's one you happen to be missing, just say, I want that one give it to me and there you go and then if you think that isn't free to play friendly enough when they do come out with new characters and they have different banners such as this one here lime you can actually summon for it and if you happen to pull an sr unit it will be no other unit besides that banner unit so you don't even have a possibility so let's go ahead and summon one time with this summon ticket here and then i also want to summon three more times using these gems now these gems you actually acquire a ton of them throughout your missions guys trust me once we get into that after the summons you guys will see that they just start piling in and you really will just get so many of these and that's how you'll get to 200 summons super quickly so let's go ahead and just buy these, okay? We have 980 of them, but it costs 300 to get one summon ticket. So let's just go ahead and click okay. We got a revived Osiris. So he's a four star A tier unit, really not one of the better ones. So I'm gonna continue summoning and see if I can get something a little bit better. I have 
two more tickets from my gems and then I also have the actual ticket itself. So again, here's the animation and it gives us a little extra thing when there's something a little bit better. And this is going to be an S tier unit, so this is one step below down from the rarity of SR. This is the prototype Mecha Rocco, which is pretty cool. And I'm gonna have one more of these. I really wanna go for the SR. Again, if it happens to be an SR, it'll be Lime 100%. It is not an S or even an SR. So this is the security guard Duchi. And last one here is going to be our one summoning ticket. So let's just go ahead and do that. Hoping for the SR. We did not have luck on our side today, unfortunately, but we got the Imp Overlord, Charlotte. So now that we have our heroes, let me actually go ahead and show you guys how to actually level these guys up and make them stronger. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my party, and then let's focus on our most rare unit that I have right now, which is Sigart, and I'm gonna click on Manage. Now after Manage, I'm gonna go to Hero Growth, and from here, I can upgrade him. I can upgrade him using some of the other units that I've gotten throughout missions or summoning. So I went ahead and added all of them in, and let's go ahead and click on Upgrade Heroes. So as you can see, this says uh, we got it to plus three, which isn't too bad. All these other ones failed, but at least we got them from plus two to plus three. And let's try it again. We're gonna fill up everything once more, and the goal is to get him to plus nine. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it or not, but that's the goal, okay? And we failed every single one of them, which is okay. I mean, one stars, they're not really that hard to get, so I'm not really too upset about it. But as the star grade gets a little bit higher, it gives us a higher chance to actually succeed. You see here 1% chance and then 10% from two stars, if we add a three star instead, it'd be a 25% chance. Let's actually use the three star. I don't mind it too much. We did hit the three star, so we're at plus four. Let me actually scroll up here. I'm gonna use these, all of, all of the three stars, and the two star as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit upgrade hero, and we're still gonna fail every single one of them, unfortunately, okay. So once we've actually gotten our Sigurd up to plus nine, we can then evolve him into a six star unit. And then after that, in order to make him even stronger, you would then awaken him at plus 12. Now awakening is going to turn one of these yellow stars a different color, which is gonna make him a higher awakening. So you wanna get all of his stars to be awakened. But what happens is if you happen to summon a dupe of him, you would use that in order to awaken him. Now if you don't have a bunch of dupes of the most rare units in the game, one of the best things that you can do is start playing right now because Grand Chase is actually coming up on their 100 day anniversary. I'll just call it an anniversary. So they've been out for 100 days and it's not really that long. So the game hasn't been out for too long just yet. So if you guys are looking for a game that's brand new and want to get into something so that way you're ahead of the game, now is the best time to get into Grand Chase. And they actually are giving away a couple rewards for this milestone that they're reaching. And one of them is a Splendid Shiny Select Ticket. So what this Splendid Shiny Select Ticket does is allows us the ability to awaken whatever type of hero that we want. All right guys, so now that we've actually leveled up our units a little bit, made them a bit stronger, let's go ahead and take them into some PVE fights. So currently I'm on 3-3, which is Creators of the Fog, and it gives us a couple possible missions. So the first mission, if we complete it during this time that we fight the stage, it actually is gonna give us three of the gems that we used in order to summon units, right? It's also gonna give us an extra 6,472 experience, and really all we have to do is clear the dungeon. So this star is in the bag. As long as we clear the dungeon, we get this. Now if we clear it within four minutes and 10 seconds, we actually get another item, which is the Adventure Magic Cloak, and this is good for the mages. And then we also get another four gems along with it. And then lastly, if we defeat the boss within one one minute and 40 seconds we get a little gold chest here and this has a couple different variable items between heroes monster cards dual raid tickets and gold and then it shows us the rewards that we'll actually just get from the stage no matter what right so let's go ahead and click on ready and it gives us the recommended battle power which is 11,700 now our battle power right here is 13,145 with this current team which is consisting of Seagheart, Sachi, Poseidon and Terragon so we should be okay 
I'm just gonna go ahead and click start battle and let it kind of auto out for us. All right guys, so we're in the fight and as you can see the characters look extremely beautiful as they yet. stand there. But let's go ahead and click on auto move so that way they just automatically move throughout the stage themselves. And then lastly we can click auto skill so that way they use their skills and don't just kind of basically attack everybody um, as they come. And as you can see, my Seacard being the SR, the most rare, one of the most rare units in the game, is doing work with his little spin to win skill. I love it. This is the end. So pretty cool animation right there by Seacard. Alright guys, so now we finally got to the boss, but the only unit that we have left is Seacard. All the other units died. So don't just focus on one unit. Make sure you're leveling up and gearing and everything else, all your units, so that way they can all stay alive. Um, but the main strategy behind it is to have all different types of classes so that way they complement each other as well as they possibly can. Now my Sigheart is an absolute beast. As you can see, he's not even losing any HP because he's so tanky and has a shield and everything. It's super cool. Um, but you want to have different healers, you want to have different supports, or more damage, range damage, and stuff like that. Uh, it's all going to help you guys out later on. Now, I'm not going to focus on that too much in today's video because I am going to be getting more into that throughout this series. So if you guys do like this video, make sure you, one, download Bluestacks with Grand Chase already installed on it using the link in the description. But yeah, so here's our victory. We were actually able to get all three stars. So we gained seven gems, 6,472 additional experience, along with our chest and our cloak. But I'm actually going to stop the video right here. I am going to get into more of the PvP and team building in next week's episode. Again, huge shout out to Bluestacks for sponsoring this video. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay soupy, don't be potatoes, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.